It's time for the Texas Bucket List Bite of the Week, and this week we're down on Galveston Island. At a hippie place known for some hip food, we're at the Gypsy Joint. There's nothing like life on the island, and when you stop by this family restaurant on the outskirts of the Strand, it fits right in. Bohemian, hippie, hipster jive here. All the surfers, everybody comes here. Paradise, just like this island. What's it like being on the island? It's awesome, island time, paradise. Jordan Weller was born up the road in Webster. The Willie-like hair came later in life. Around the time his entire family decided to pack up and roam the northeastern part of the country. But they returned in 2016 to open up the Gypsy Joint. My mom was home with us and cooking every day and uh, always feeding other families, you know, and people go nuts for our cooking. So uh, one day my dad said, you know, we need to make some money on this. Their first restaurant was in North Carolina. And after years of success, something called them back to the Lone Star State. Texas is the greatest place on earth, you know. It was time to come home. So the entire family came back. Now you'll find all of them, and I do mean all of them, working together on some seriously localized craft cuisine. You got the whole family here working. Huh? Yeah, yeah. my uh, wife does the baking with my mom. My younger sister does the baking and a lot of the prep work. I do all the meats, and then my dad's on the line cooking. We got an older sister running the front. And what's awesome is you got little ones running around everywhere. Oh, yeah. Gotta have the little ones. I mean, it takes a village and you you got the village working on the restaurant and the village watching the kids. That's right. <laughs> the Wellers feel like peas in a pod in this particular predicament. And the restaurant's success can be attributed to, you guessed it, dear old mom. It's different than a lot of things you probably had before. A lot of different ways to prepare familiar recipes. It's just, you know, very unique. I've seen some things that I just want to go home and cook myself or at least attempt to do as such. There ain't no way I can do it. I'll give it a shot. I'd rather come here and try it. <laughs> so is your mom the key to this restaurant success? Oh yes, most definitely. Yeah. Yeah. She's the genius behind it all, absolutely. I just do what I'm told, so. <laughs> Jordan's dad, Keith, is one far out father figure who's got a fine nickname. Uh, they call me Poppy. They call you Poppy? Yeah, everybody calls me Poppy. Not yeah. big Poppy, just Poppy. No, just Poppy. <laughs> but he did want to clear up one misconception. A lot of people think that we're we're real gypsies or you know we're real we've had people ask if we were from romania it's, it's not that they're just a really close family we've been doing this for nearly 20 years and we've raised our kids in the restaurant and um you know so i'm, I'm with my wife and my kids and my grandkids and my in-law you know my daughter-in-laws and so forth all time all day every day and and uh, i can't think of anything better in life to be able to say that you know most people are trying to spend more time with their family and i'm i'm blessed to be able to do it every day, all day. Poppy put together three particular plates that are pretty unprecedented. I'm doing three things at once, guys, so <laughs> hang in there with me, all right? First, a fine sort of salad. We're gonna take some uh, lump crab meat, some fried green tomatoes, and watermelon, and fresh mozzarella balls, and blueberries, and we're gonna create a masterpiece. Then a burger. It's a two meat burger. Oh boy. The meat's already seasoned all throughout, but we put a little sprinkle of what we call our mix, which is uh, a mixture of different seasoning. This is kind of the taste and the flavor of a lot of the things that we do. Topped with Munster cheese, onions, and this too has fried green tomatoes. Does it normally take eight fried green tomatoes on this dish? No, I just okay. thought they'd look pretty on the plate, huh? <laughs> Don't forget the lump crab and Yunioshi sauce, sort of their take on sriracha. Now things get crazy with a uniquely named hot dog. The Puff Puff Pass. The Puff Puff Pass. Yeah, you know, when you're craving something, you know, you get a, a hot dog, it's got uh, peanut butter, awesome. some Cracker Jacks, mozzarella, blue stuff mozzarella. And that's good? It's so good, <laughs> so good. You can imagine when you'd be in the mood for one of those. Somebody told me you were interested in what one of our, our hot dogs is called a Puff Puff Pass. Yeah, when we heard about the Puff Puff Pass, we had puff, to... Puff Puff Pass. We had to... We could not pass on that. No, you can't pass on that. <laughs> Keith takes a fresh baked bun, puts on peanut butter, mozzarella, the dog, bacon, homemade barbecue sauce, and Cracker Jacks. What is going on with the hot dog? Who came up with that thing? My mom. She's... I did not expect that. Yeah. <laughs> she, neither did we. <laughs> First up, the salad. Very fresh, light tasting, but then you got that sauce giving it a good extra little flavor there, keeping it all together. And that lump crab meat, 
This seals the deal. I recommend it. As for the burger, the beef kicks you off with a nice spice, but then you start getting those more subtle flavors of the crab and the cheese. And then when you think it's done, you get the sauce and it just takes it over the edge. I loved it, <laughs> right off the bat. And finally, the Puff Puff Pass. I have no idea what to expect with this thing. So uh, here's to trying new things down on the island. To say it hit the spot would be spot on. Well, when you take your initial bite, it's all hot dog. But the more you chew, the more you get those flavors going around your mouth, the crazier things get. And when you think you're all done, you get a little bit of that Cracker Jack, and it just ends it off with a nice little sweet tinge. And it's something to behold. So I can't believe how good this is. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, get a little giggly. Beautiful. Well, if you're looking for something nice and light on the island or a big burger top with crab or just something that really hits the spot, coming down to the Gypsy Joint on Galveston Island is well worth a stop on the Texas bucket list. I'm passing this to you. They're a beautiful family. Their food is just one part of it, but it's who they are as a family and what they've been doing for this community. And when you're in Galveston, you're looking for something a little different, and uh, this is the place to be. You'll love it. You're not gonna find anything like it anywhere else, not even Austin. <laughs> Come on down to G-Town, be nice, eat well, and love life.